Hey everybody. Hey, how are you? Happy Friday. Before you wrap up this weekend, here's a couple of things that I just want to talk to you about. And the first is that you need to learn to protect your space. Like protect who you are and what you're doing in your space, protecting ideas and making sure that you are vetting them yourself or with a trusted group. Right? Making sure that who you talk to are those who are on your team. And how do you know if people are on your team? I think this is probably the hardest part of it is understanding who's on your team and who's not on your team. So protecting your space. By protecting your space, what am I talking about? Protecting your space means that um, do you, you, know, you may have enemies right now right in your space laying next to you living upstairs across the way on your social media all around you and you don't even realize that they're haters like i just got off the phone a few minutes ago with one of um a great friend of mine um she also was a client for many years and we were chatting about her new venture and really plotting out what her next steps are and and designing it right in a coaching call almost um so that she could get to the next step of her journey and this is such a crazy spot hey katrina nice to see you here this is such a crazy fragile spot for her right now right um she's had tons of success she's had tons of times when things weren't good she's had times when um there was lots of money she had times when there was little money and i told her that the number one thing that she needs to do right now is protect her space protect this baby that she has that she's about to launch right this new business and don't let any random people tell her anything anything don't let them influence you on your way so she's great with that piece right but here's a couple of other things that her friends and her local mastermind was doing with her that didn't make any sense okay is that one of the groups she was talking to her and her friend was telling her about her business she asked her opinion when my client gave her opinion her friend went you know i don't that's not right it's like what what not that she was comforting, not that she was communicating why she didn't think so, just dismissed her. I'm like, number one, that's not your friend. <laughs> number two, why are you listening to somebody who's in the same position that you are? Why, right? So the only folks that I listen to that have an impact on my business journey are somebody who's already done it before and has what I want, right? That's like a single girl, right? <laughs> giving her married friends advice. What? <laughs> that doesn't happen. How does a single girl give a married girl advice, right? You don't know. You don't know. So especially if you ain't never been there, ooh, I wouldn't take that from my husband. Well, you don't have a husband. And maybe that's the reason why you don't have a husband, right? So in your business journey, you need to make sure the same thing is happening. You need to make sure that you're very clear about who you can listen to and who you rely on. Look, this entrepreneurial journey is so lonely. We are the loneliest people on the planet, right? Why? Well, because there's haters all around us. They say things like, well, what makes you think you can do this? Girl, you know, that's not what Bill Gates did. First of all, you don't know what Bill Gates did because you weren't there. You know what the story is of what Bill Gates did. That's not what Mark Zuckerberg, I'm trying to be Damon John. How do you know what Damon John really did? You don't know it. You watch him on Shark Tank, but you don't know if he knows the steps. I know that even when he went to put his business online, that he failed miserably for years until he found some other people who had mastered the online space and that's where he went to yes so when you are building your business you have to make sure that you are only talking to people who can give you the right advice <laughs> that you're not just letting randoms have a comment about 
who you are and what your journey is and what your destiny absolutely is because they don't want you to be any higher than they are. They're like, well, what makes you think that, that you can go back to school and start this business at the same time? You need to stop all that. Well, no, that may be tough for you, but does that mean that's tough for me? Is that what that is? You can't, you, you don't get to choose. You don't have a right to tell me what I can do and what I'm capable of. If God put the dream in my heart, if he put it in my spirit, if he put it in the brain, then he already created everything that I needed. He already created everything that I needed. So, you know, getting getting advice from the peanut gallery, all that does is, is dampen your spirit and slow you down and slow you down into a stop from getting to your goals. Because now you start thinking, well, maybe they're right. And you know what? They ain't right. All they are is broke and tired and mad. That's it. Because they're mad at themselves for not being able to push through. They're mad at themselves for not being able to balance work, school, and a new business. They're mad at themselves for not living up to their full potential. So that's my question for you today. When are you going to decide to live to your fullest potential? When are you going to decide? Because that's all it is, is a decision. All it is is a decision. It's a decision to make that today, today, I'm going to live up to my full potential. I'm going to do everything I can. They're like, well, you know, she can't be great at all of those things. Well, how do you know, first of all? And number two, that's what the ultimate problem is. You're trying to be great at everything instead of just getting it done. Instead of just making the decision to get it done. So protecting your space, like if you're not on the same path as me, you got to get out the car. You cannot ride in the car with me. You can't ride in the car with me if you're not going to the same place. It's like having people not on your journey with you. Yes? Sitting there, I call them the peanut gallery. So, you know, how do I know this? How do I know this? Here's how I know. Because for years, my mother, and I love my mother. Yes? My mother, I took care of my mother for 20 years. She lived with me. I bought her a house. I did everything. Yes? My mother would not switch to my telephone company. She said, oh, no. No. You know, you don't like to make your bed. I said, ma, because that's not the best use of my time, making my bed. How about we have Angelica? I pay her to make my bed, right? That, that's what she does. She makes my bed. She does the laundry. She cleans the house because my best use of my time is making money to provide for my family. That's what it is. Right? My mom's like, oh, no. You know when she finally switched to my phone service when I bought her house? So you're going to have these people that are naysayers. That's why we're different. That's why we as entrepreneurs who decide to put it all on the line, who decide to say, okay, I can't go to work anymore. I cannot live their dream. I want to live my own dream. That's why we are different than everybody else. And that's why sometimes we get to make more than other folks. That's why sometimes, you know, we get to own businesses that make more money, but it's not so that it can make more money. It really isn't. If you really get down to really successful entrepreneurs, that's not our goal. Our goal is to impact the world is to change lives. Even when I was the, the president of, of uh, Moms in Business, right? We represented over 11 million moms that were in business. It wasn't for that because I know that if, if I can change a mom and help a mom change her life, then that's going to impact her family and her family life is now changed. And if I can help her family change their lives, and guess what? Now the community is now changed. And if the community is changed, now we can change the world. That's how we do it. That's why we work for ourselves. That's why we make the decision to change the world. That's why entrepreneurs are changing the world. And why when people say, oh, I don't know why. Oh, that sounds like it. This sounds like it's a lot. You know, so-and-so already is doing that. Really? Why don't you ask Popeyes about a chicken sandwich that they got in competition with Chick-fil-A and tons of people are in line waiting for the chicken sandwich, right? 
Chick-fil-A already has a chicken sandwich. Why? McDonald's is laughing, talking about when you're broke, you're going to come back and get that nasty dollar one. Right? It's never about, you're not in competition. This world is abundant and full of so many things. And it's up to you to protect your space, to protect who gets to get in the car with you on your journey. Because eventually you're not in cars, you're in planes, you're in your own plane, you're in things that, that you just change the world and impact more and more people. So my job is to protect your space, <laughs> especially on this journey, and to make sure that you hear this. And on a Friday that we don't, Fridays mean really nothing to entrepreneurs, you know, because I work every day of the week. I work when I'm in the shower. I work when I'm driving my car because I'm processing ideas to get to the next and the next and the next, right? So what I'm telling you on this Friday afternoon is if you're going to work this weekend, then then push yourself to the, to the highest amount of your potential and stop giving away your power to people who decided to coast. I don't do people that coast. That's annoying to me. Coast? Move out the way because I've got full throttle. Hey, my name is Rochelle Shaw. I'm the author of The Million Dollar Equation. I help entrepreneurs build million dollar businesses so they can impact more folks and change the world. I'd love to help you. All right, have a great weekend. Don't let them in your space. Get them out. All right, see you, bye.